Let me teach you how to download and install the Distant Horizons mod for Minecraft 1.21. As you can see, everything is still loading behind me because I literally just opened the world. But yeah, I'm going to teach you how to download and install this mod for the newest version of Minecraft, which is 1.21. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first step to get the Distant Horizon mod for Minecraft 1.21 is to click that second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install this mod. Now, if you don't want to read through the guide, just scroll down to step one and click Distant Horizons. I'll redirect you over here, but we're going to download the 1.21 version of the mod. So just simply find the 1.21. You could even filter by version versions in here and then just hit download right here on this little green arrow that will begin to download immediately for the distant horizon mod and while the mod is downloading i have to let you know about today's sponsor apex hosting if you want to use the distant horizons mod in your own server then just use that first link in the description and create a server with apex hosting getting 25 percent off your first server a server that is up 24 7 so you don't have to worry about port forwarding your ip address or ip attacks or ip leaks because this server is hosted completely online so your friends could join at any moment now besides them having support for over 200 mod packs something that i personally love about Apex hosting and also besides them having locations all around the world is that you could access the server console through your phone which means that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to control your server. Go ahead and use that first link in the description for 25% off with Apex hosting and now let's keep going with the tutorial. Now after we download the Distant Horizons mod I want you to go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now the Distant Horizons mod right now the 1.21 version it's only available for Fabric or Neoforge. Those of you that have a little bit of knowledge about Minecraft modding know that Fabric and Neoforge are both different mod loaders which will allow you to load this mod into the game. If you were to have any of those mod loaders already installed, just go ahead and drag and drop the Distant Horizons mod into your mods folder and that's it, you're done with this video. I'm assuming however most of you watching this video don't have either of those installed, so that is what we're going to do in the next step. We're going to install Fabric in this case, feel free to install Neoforge if you want to, but for this guy we're going to install Fabric as it is more popular and it has compatibility with other mods. Now to install Fabric go ahead and click on that third link in the description which is our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. Feel free to read through the guide but if you just want to follow along go ahead and click where it says download Fabric loader here, that will redirect you over here and now go ahead and download the Universal Jar. As soon as you click on download universal jar the download will begin immediately let's go ahead and drag and drop the fabric installer to our desktop and if you have ever installed fabric in the past you know that you need fabric api to make fabric work with most mods and distant horizons is no exception so we're actually going to go ahead and download the fabric api as well just click on that fourth link in the description and scroll down to step one click download fabric api here select the 1.21 version in here which is the most recent one in here click on these little three dots download file and after five seconds your download for the fabric api will begin now i know all of this happened real fast but it's pretty simple. We downloaded the Fabric Installer, which is going to allow us to put mods into the game. We downloaded Distant Horizons, which is the mod that we want. And we downloaded the Fabric API to allow Distant Horizons not to crash with the Fabric Installer. Now, with all these files in our desktop, the next step is to make sure that we have closed our Minecraft game as well as our Minecraft launcher. And then to just go ahead and launch the Fabric Installer. All you have to do is right click on it, click open with and click Java. I'll open the fabric installer in a second as you can see right here and the 1.21 version is selected automatically if that's not your case just scroll down until you find it select it and then hit install now if you had any issues opening the fabric installer which the only issue i could think of is that you're not able to open it at all that is because you need java 21 java 21 is actually required for you to install fabric 1.21 the thing is that after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 it now requires you to have java 21 installed in your computer if you want to install java 21 to be able to open the fabric installer click on that link in the description that says java 21 download the installer and then just hit next a couple of times for java and that's it that's how simple it is to install java 21 and that again is a software that is going to allow you to open the fabric installer once you install the fabric installer go ahead and hit ok and now you could even close out from the fabric installer and now you could even delete that fabric installer from your desktop now all which you have left is the distant horizons mod as well as the fabric api which we're going to add into the game right now by the way if you install java 21 and your fabric installer is still not opening just make sure you get rid of your older versions by going over to other remote programs we have videos on the channel on how to update to java 21 so just search that app in our channel and you'll be able to open that fabric installer anyways once you install fabric go ahead and open your minecraft launcher again and once the minecraft launcher open if we install fabric properly we should see a selector here automatically which is my case as you can see in here now the next step is to install the mods into the fabric installer the distant horizons mod to do that just head over to installations and make sure you find fabric loader in here make sure you have modded selected because without modded you actually won't see the fabric loader in here once you select and modded as you can see it will appear if it still doesn't show up for you you could just real quick click on new installation name this whatever you want like for example apex hosting since they will give you 25 percent off your first server using the first link in the description and then where it says version just search for fabric in here and then just use the fabric 1.21 version which is the one we just installed and then just click create down here on the bottom right and that will add an instance of fabric over here for you anyways once we have the fabric loader 
folder in here, just go ahead and hover over it and click on this little folder that appears. And that is going to open a folder with a lot of files in it. But within this folder, we're just looking for another folder called mods. That's M O D S, which is right here for me, the mods folder. And if by any reason you don't have that mods folder, I'm actually going to go ahead and delete mine. You can actually create it. So just click on new, click folder, and then just name this folder M O D S mods. That's it. You could create the mods folder. It's that simple. Go ahead and open that folder app. Either you find it or you create it, open it up, and then just drag and drop those files that we downloaded earlier, the Fabric API, as well as the Distant Horizons mod into this folder. It's that simple. Go ahead and add it up in there. Make sure you don't have any other mod incompatible with Fabric 1.21. So what I mean is make sure you don't have any Forge mod in here or any Fabric older version mod like Fabric 1.20.6 or anything like that. Make sure all the mods in here are compatible with each other as well as with the mod loader that you're going to use, which in this case is Fabric 1.21. Go ahead and close this folder once you've done that and then head back into the Minecraft launcher and launch Fabric. Go ahead and click on play. And once you click on play, you might get a little prompt in here saying if you're ready to play modern Minecraft, just go ahead and click that you understand the risk of playing modern Minecraft and then hit play again. Now, once Minecraft opens, let's go ahead and test out Distant Horizons. So I'm actually going to load this world in here that I have right here. It's a single player world. If you need a multiplayer world, again, use that first link in the description for 25% off with Apex Hosting. And now let's give some time for the Distant Horizons mod to work. As you can see, it actually says right now that I have low memory detected. That is because I didn't give the game enough gigabytes of memory for the game to use when loading the Distant Horizons mod. And I'm going to show you how to change that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and test out the Distant Horizons. Okay, so the mod is still loading. As you can see, it's actually going to take some time depending on your computer. And the way that we could actually change the settings of the mod is by pressing escape, heading over to options, and then click on this little square up here. And you could actually change the settings in here. You could even go to advanced options and even change more settings in here, like the graphics or the world generator and stuff. If you need to lower the render quality or the distance or stuff like that, you could do so through here. But as you can see, this is the Distant Horizons mod 1.21 loading. However, I'm going to show you in a second how to change the RAM amount that you give to the game. So this actually loads faster and it performs better and smoother. So I'm going to go ahead and close the game. Now, the way that we're going to give Distant Horizons more RAM for the mod to perform better, you're going to head over to a Minecraft launcher, head over to installations, find that fabric loader where we're using the Distant Horizons mod from, and then click on this little three dots right here and then click edit. In here, you're going to click more options and where it says 2G in here, or it might say 4G for you, or it might actually even say something like a whole number, like maybe 4,000 something. And then it says MB like that. So if it says anything like that, or if it just says 2G, whatever the case might be, just go ahead and select those numbers as well as the two letters next to it or the G next to it. And then type in how many gigabytes you want to give the game. A good number to use with Distant Horizons, usually it's 50% of your total RAM. So in my case, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM here at home. So I'm going to give the mod actually 16 gigs and the way you're going to do that is type in the gigabytes, so 16, and then just type a capital G next to it, which stands for gigabytes. And that's the way you're going to give the game the amount of RAM that you prefer. Now, I don't recommend that you go above 50% of your available memory RAM. So that's something that will apply different for everybody. Everybody has different RAM. You could either use your task manager to find out, or you could just go over to your PC and then just find the properties and find how much RAM you have installed on your computer. So in this case, I'm going to use 16 gigs. Some of you might have to use four, eight, depending on how many gigabytes you have. And once you added the gigabytes that you want to use of RAM, just hit on save down here on the bottom right. And now just go ahead and launch that game up again. And here we are on the game and the mod's still loading a little bit. As you can see, there's a lot of areas that haven't loaded yet, especially because I'm recording. So recording does take a very, very big load of my memory and stuff like that. So it's going to take a while. Those of you that are not recording don't have to worry about these things. And you could also combine this mod with Sodium, which is probably going to increase your performance a lot. But that is pretty much how to download and install the mod. Now you have to have fun tweaking it and change the settings a little bit. So it works for you the way that you want it to work. But that is pretty much how to install this in Horizons for Minecraft 1.21. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye bye.